you trust me way too much with your stuff. Because if it end up missing, it's not my fault. It's not. And I'm tired of it. And I get tired real fast. Why would you think I'm to play with? Like, I don't know you. I'm probably never going to see you again. We're not friends. Accept it. I didn't realize how stupid people could be. Hey, Bellbees. It's me, Ashley, and I'm back with another video. First and foremost, I would like to say the happiest of the New Year's. I hate looking any type of way, whatever. But yeah, Happy New Year. Um, 2022 was a year, it was, but we live in that 2022. It is the 2023, and I just hope y'all have the happiest of New Year's, and let's get this year started. So, I just ate y'all. Anyway, so, I would like to do a Cashier Chronicle part two. So, yeah, um... I had a job as a cashier. I still currently have it at the moment. But, yeah, I made six months at my... I made six months at my place. Um, I really do love my job. I do. Now, of course, I'm not going to be there forever. But, yes, I like my job. It's just I didn't realize how stupid people could be. All people stupid, but they literally are stupid. And whoever who actually works in customer service and deals with the people, I commend y'all. And, and, and be nice to your fellow workers, okay? Like, I understand we all have our days, but just don't be rude. Like, figure stuff out. Use concept clues or whatever. But that's just that. Just a little intro. But let's get into it. I have to write it down, okay? And if I think of anything else... Then that would just be that. But let me let me find my notes. So boom. My market store has a deli. It sells seafood, like raw seafood. And cooked food that could be seafood or anything else. But like you can get raw food, cooked food, snacks, whatever. Okay, it's a market. So um, I'm normally a closer. And people like to cut up when it's closing time for whatever reason. I'm like... It's not the time to do it. It's never the time to do it with closing time. It is not the time to do it. Because you're going to leave out here hungry or without your groceries. Like, that's just that. So, this lady, because, like, my position at the time, I could see a lot of stuff. So, I see her get out of the deli line. And at the time, my hair is purple. So, what, like. People, they be looking at me, and you you can perceive me in any way. That's your personal opinion, but I don't care. But if you don't like me or have whatever just prejudice against me, that's the you problem, okay? You can go on about your life. I'm, I'm definitely going to go on about mine. But, yeah, so I seen her walk in. She looked at me. She, I guess she didn't like me. I don't care. Get her food. Get out the line. Look at me at this time, it's about closing. I'm the only one open, so she has to like come to me. So I literally scan her stuff. I take the scanning gun, I scan her stuff. Okay, I'm scanning the ticket that's in front of me. What's on that ticket? That's the price of your thing without tax. Okay, tax is like what eight, nine, ten percent. I don't know, don't quote me in Louisiana. So, yes, tax gonna be a dollar and some change. That's that. On the little computer screen thing, it show you your amount plus the tax and then your total. And you watch me scan it. So why are you asking me why the price is that? And I literally just scanned it. So I scanned her stuff. And she's all like, um, why is the price like that? I come up in here every day. Where's the manager? So the manager is having to be right there. So I called him very sarcastically because baby don't start with me. And he came and he was all like, well, um, that's the price. And she's like, oh, well, take that off. Like, whatever. Because, you know, if you ask for extras, they can charge you extras. So I took the stuff off. 
send it back to the deli, but how you gonna be mad at me for scanning your stuff, okay? Like, we don't have self-checkout, because if we did, y'all would steal, okay? And even if they did, like, y'all don't do this at Walmart. Not y'all, but people don't do this at Walmart, okay? Why are you coming in this store doing that, okay? Because if you were to do that at Walmart, you 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 probably would have gone to jail or won't be able to do it at Walmart because Walmart don't play. But, yeah. That was that. So, yeah. So, this old man, he was all like, smile. Because I have a serious face and I am like, why am I smiling? It's cold up in there. I'm actually in deep dark all the time or thinking about something and here come a customer bothering me. Like, and I'm, and I'm talking about bothering me. Like, it's not like they need to be checked out. Like, they just asked you some dumb question that, like, bro, just because I'm standing here waiting to check somebody out doesn't mean you can just sit here and bother me. You need to go on with your life. So, yeah. So, I'm like, what do you want? So, he was all like, smile. And I'm like, no. Because I get that quite often. And I'm like, but do you want to get checked out or not? Like, what do you want? He's And he said, if you don't smile, I'm going to walk out here and not pay. So, I laugh at him because that was funny. And I, tell, I was all like, sir, that was funny. He's like, see, I got you a smile. I'm like, yeah, but that was funny. He's like, but you still smile. I say, yeah, because you made it funny. Bro, you cannot walk out that store and not pay the cop. The cop is right there. You are going to jail. Don't go to jail. Like, imagine telling your wife, kids, whoever bail you out of jail, that you went to jail because you literally walked out because the cashier ain't smiled at you. Man, mind you, that food ain't cheap, okay? Like, yeah, you want to jail for some not cheap food. But whatever, that was funny. And then he was all like, you know what? I like you. Can you, um, can I stay? And like, just talk to you? I said, nope. And yeah, and laughed at him again. So overall, I was laughing at him, not with him. And I find that funny. Like, that's my sense of humor, to laugh at you, not with you. But then some people think that's mean stuck up whatever i don't care but see don't be bothering me ow oh i bit my tongue anyway oh people and they kids <sighs> psa not everybody but a lot of people i know i'm not a parent but i got common sense okay don't let the world raise your kids. That's all I got to say. Because at the beginning and end of the day, that is your child. You are the parent. You are the guardian, whatever. You raise the child. Okay? Do not depend on the world to raise your child. Because it ain't the world child. It's your child. Okay? And as as being like customer stuff, you peep a lot of stuff. Like, I'm already an observant person. But I just be looking around at the people. I'm like, this what we doing? That is crazy. So, boom, I see people walk in. Like, I see people walk in. I observe. Like, I'm always alert, especially at the job. Like, so, it's this little family. So, there's a grandma. Okay. And there's two kids. One's literally a toddler. It was a boy. He was like two years old maybe even one and a half i hate when people say 18 months you say one and a half okay once they hit that year mark stop saying months but he was young okay like he knew how to walk probably barely knew how to talk but toddler and the other one had to be about seven or eight and seven or eight year olds already be in their own little world cool cool and then there was the mom I don't know where the mom was. I didn't really see the mom. But, like, overall, the kids were with the grandma. And I don't know why, like, people, they low-key want dibs on my register. I'm like, um, it's literally a public register. You you can't hog my line. Like, and I hate when people set their food or whatever on my register and actually to watch it. I'm like, if that stuff leaves 
it's not my fault because what people like to do, they set their stuff down and they have a family member walking around. And I'm not a census person. Okay, so the family member recognize your stuff and take their stuff. I'm not finna stop them. I'm not. Or if I had to walk away from the register to use the restroom, uh, put up a basket, or help somebody out the door, and if I turn around, your food gone, that is not my fault. You, We got baskets. We do have baskets. So you trust me way too much with your stuff because if it end up missing, it's not my fault. It's not. It's not. But anyway, back to the story. So I guess the grandma, I guess she wanted to deal with my register. I'm like, okay, you come here, like. I don't care. I don't. So she comes, she scans up all of this stuff, okay? And the older grandchild, like the seven, eight year old, was with her. And I guess they forgot something. It was like some chips or something. So she sent the girl to get some chips. She said, scan two of these. I'm like, okay, I scan two of these. Here come the mama, okay? I don't know where the mama was the whole time. She popped up out of nowhere. She gets another bag of chips and just puts it in a bag. Like, don't even let me skin. Like, just skip the line, put it in the bag. Then the toddler, he grabs the bag of chips, and they wasn't watching the boy. Like, toddlers, they grab stuff. And I'm like, I got to scan that and the one that you put in. So they get mad at me. Talk about some, I told you to scan two of them. I'm like, I did. Okay, I'm like, you know, we can take the chips out the bag right now. So you got, you put two original chips on the belt, right? The You told the little girl to go grab another one, but scan this chip right here twice. I scanned it twice. That means I scanned three bags of chips, just like you told me. Why the mama come out of number with a bag of chips? And the little boy, he got a bag of chips. Okay, so that's five bags of chips. I only scanned three because, first of all, two was physically in front of me. And you told me to scan one twice, one or two twice, which makes that three. I got three chips, right? Right. Why is there five? You're not going to get five bags of chips for the price of three. No, we are in inflation. We are in inflation. The mama getting mad talking about something. Oh, she acting like we trying to steal them chips. Duh, 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 duh. So I'm like, girl. First of all, I don't even know you. You lollygagging around the store while your mama and your kids shopping. So you need to stay in your lane. And matter of fact, buy, buy them chips on your own because your, your mama really buying the chips with her food stamps. But we, we not even going to go there. We're not going to go there. I'm like, don't get mad at me over some chips because push come to shove. You should have been here. All family members, all chips, all whatever should have been here when I was checking them out. So now you're accusing me. Of accusing you of stealing and want to get cause a scene and all. I'm like, wait a minute, because where was you? Where was you? Okay. And then the customer behind them was like, oh, she ain't here yet. Da -da -da -da. You mind your business, okay? I got this. I know how to count well. I know how to skin well. Y'all got me messed up, okay? And yes, if you walk out here with them chips, it's going to be on me because. The place do have cameras, so they'll be like, so you just walk, let them walk out with some chips? And I clearly saw it. Like, no, I'm not going to explain that. Yo, chips not going to come out my paycheck. I don't even know you. No. Like, ooh, dog, that's it, people. So, yeah, and then that, that really made me upset with the customer behind. Like, I wasn't even talking to you to talk about so Oh, she ain't here yet. Lady, mind your business. I'm not talking to you. They're not talking to you. Just get out of my face. More of the story. Get all your items, all your family members. When y'all ready to check out, check out. Check out, okay? Because I really could have grown up like, um, why why your mama watching your kids? These your kids. Why you acting like a child? You acting more like the big sister than the mother. But I would have been wrong. But, ugh. <sighs> yeah, people and their kids. I had to, that aggravated me so bad. I had to close my line for a quick second because I'm like, uh, I don't want to tell nobody nothing. So I already told y'all, raise your kids. I'm not going to raise your kids. So there's this toddler, okay, different toddler. I see a bunch of toddlers, okay. And it was a boy too. And he was like one, maybe, I don't know, walking, not talking. Or if he knew how to talk, he wasn't speaking to me. Cool. 
I have to step out of my register because there's cleaning behind them. But, of course, like, you still looking when you're not on the register. So, um, he knocks down some candy because the candy is low. Tyler's can reach it. He knocks it down and walks away. I'm like, okay, well, I'm right there. Let me just place the candy back up. The mom will go tell me, you should have told him pick it up. But first of all, first, well, I'm not even going to do first of all because it's a bunch of first of all. It wasn't that deep. He's a little boy. He knocked over candy. I pick it up, okay? Like, if I was that type of person, to be like, hey, toddler, come back, pick it up. You would have still been mad at me talking about no talking to my baby like that. Like, who are you to talk to my baby? And why am I talking to your baby? It's a baby. Like, he probably would have been scared. Like, I'm not going to be mad at him for knocking over some candy. Back to, I'm backtracking a little bit all over the place. No, it's already great. All over the place. I already told you I'm being a serious person, right? But a lot of people, a lot, like, I get this so, 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 so often. And I'm tired of it. And I get tired real fast. But, um... My face is my face. I'm not changing it for nobody, okay? If I got a stone cold look, so be with it. Like, I'm a nice person. I really am. But if I look mean, if I look mad, if I look just a nasty attitude or something, why are you bothering me? Why are you bothering me if I look any type of way but nice to you, okay? If you're threatened by the look on my face, there is other people you can check out with you do not have to come to my line you don't i don't get it and why do you think you're just gonna be the person that makes my day you're not i like just we were being honest you're not you could maybe i don't know like i don't have some random people make my day but i'm not gonna tell them that but for the most part you telling me What's wrong? You should smile. You too cute to be looking at me. Get out my face. Literally. It's people like you. My job is to check you out. Not to make no type of conversation with you because you feel in some type of way about the way my face looks. Why? Like, I don't get that because if I was a customer, because, you know, I am a customer, like, when I'm not at the job or, like, you know, I go to Walmart, too. I go to um whatever store too and and mind my business. So yeah, like me as in a customer shoes, if I feel as though that somebody got an attitude or they look mean or something, I go to somebody else. Or if they happen to be the only person working, oh well, like that's not my issue. Their job is to check me out and I go about my day. Okay? So leave me alone. This is more story, leave me alone. This is yeah, about the closing time. People like to act a fool. So I was closing again. And when we close, we close. Okay, like we're close. Now, of course, there's a few people who may stay in clean, but that's selected people. Okay, and I'm not one of them people. I'm not. So, yeah. So this dude, he was literally stalling. He was acting like he was on the phone. I don't know if he is high. Because I'm going to just leave it with you. The place I work at, people, they be on hardcore drugs and they walk in the place. They do. Some of them may or may not need to be escorted out. I don't know, but they they, they be high. They be not on this planet. So I don't know if he was on drugs. I don't know if he was high. I don't know if he was just stalling, but he was getting on my nerves. That's, that's the overall thing. So, yeah, he on the phone lollygagging and at this point he's the only one up in there and everybody looking like bruh because we literally cannot leave our shut down shut down until you get out of here so what so he has like this gumbo and he had three items like gumbo cold drink and probably some some chips or something excuse me i did not mean the bird okay so i scan it up and he's like oh the gumbo separate. You ain't tell me that. You was too busy on the phone. Like, me as a cashier, if it's one person, and they put all their stuff on a belt at one time, I'm scanning it up unless you tell me, hey, this is separate. You ain't tell me that. So, I take the gumbo off. 
I'm like, oh, okay. Hey, you just got the drink and the chips. He's like, oh, the drink with this gumbo. I'm like, bruh. So I take it off. And mind you, I can't take it off. I need a manager right there to take it off. And I looked at him real stupid. I'm like, if you don't stop playing with me, you're going to be hungry. I'm going to tell them to put you out. Don't do not do it. Don't do it. I know I'm nice. Like what? You're not going to steal. You're not. Don't even try to think about stealing. Because if you steal, and if I tell them you clearly stole, you're going to jail. Okay? And why, why would you play with me at this time of night? Okay? I'm closing. You think it's funny. I'm ready to get off. Everybody else ready to get off. Like, no. Don't play. You'll be hungry. You can go get some food from somewhere else. I will gladly be like, look, you're not cooperable. Cooperable. I don't know. You're not a compliant customer. You're not a rational customer. You're stalling. You're obviously stalling. Okay. You're doing too much. You can get out this food going back to the deli. Or, you know what, at this time, it might be coming to me, but you're not going to you. So don't even try it. The day for this, I don't know the other day. When I say the other day, that can mean yesterday or the day I was born. But I, there was this man, there was a customer, right? And for some reason, he had like a bunch of fish. I don't know why people get like buku fish. Okay, like let's just say. 25 pounds of fish i'm just saying that but i'm a small person okay i'm not big i think y'all should know that by now like i'm real small i'm skinny okay i'm short i'm strong i am pretty strong but i know my belt be open and i know people they just be looking at the first open belt but if you're like a big strong dude a lot of these dudes getting this like 25 pounds of fish and you see little old me why would you make me back your stuff like what like if you struggling putting it on the belt wow why but see i'm petty i will grab the bags and make you baggy because i'm not bagging that that's heavy and it's fish but anyway he had heavy fish thingy and one of the seafood people bought him a basket because they thought he was going to leave and needed help carrying it. Because I, I don't know why people don't get baskets. It's literally right there. I don't I don't get it. So he had the basket, right? But he didn't take the basket. Away. He left the basket behind my register. I'm like, okay, I'm thinking he's getting ice or something. This man gets a whole bunch of stuff from the deli and get a girlfriend. I don't know if he knew the woman. I don't know. But he came back with a girlfriend because that woman wasn't with him before. So he paid for the food and stuff. I'm like, okay, here's your basket. I don't know why you told me to watch it, but whatever. Don't try it because I really don't watch people's stuff. I don't. Well, he goes outside, put his food in the car, whatever, come back in. He placed the basket right behind my register, like where I was at. I'm like, you can go put your basket back. This is not where the basket go. Why did you, like, place it right there? I don't know. Maybe it was, like, I kind of get it because people was like, oh, yeah, put things where you got it from, but you did not get that back to here. Don't put. Like, was that you in this room? What I was like, oh, shit, why can't you put it back? I didn't put it back. Somebody else put it back. Well, I'm like, that's crazy. I thought I was being, um, what's, not impossible with Joe, was punked. Punk that show, joke, whatever. I thought there was a hidden camera or something for my reaction because ain't no way that could have been real. It was, it was real closing. And two minutes before closing, this whole family walked in and wanted fish ball sprint. So, yeah, when we close, first of all, two minutes before closing, you want fresh shrimp? It's put up. It's put up. Now, they probably, it's not. Like in a refrigerator. I don't know what they do with it, okay? That's not my department. My department is to check you out. But they had to go and get it. So they want to like shrimp and literally walk in two minutes before. And when people, when they walk in two minutes before, it's not no, for the most part, it's not no, oh my God, I just got off work. Okay, I've been running errands all day. Or the track was off. Just please give me some food. No, these people live down the street, around the corner, and come in high. And um, 
have like a casual scroll in the store like they ain't never been in the store before and they be like oh yeah i'm on a bunch of this right now and we're like it's closing time it's closing where are you gonna get it from how you know when we sold out it depends on who closes because some people they'll be like mm, we're sold out but other people's like um let's go look in the bag it just depends but yeah I, of course, I'm the only one frozen, and they got the bowl of shrimp. But, like, I hate when people be like, I know you want to get off. Well, if you know that, why you walked in here? Okay, why Why you ain't come 30 minutes before close? Why you ain't get it from somewhere else? We're not the only people that carry boiled shrimp. Why you ain't boiled the shrimp yourself? Don't tell me I know you're ready to get off, because now you're holding me hostage. And I don't like that. Oh yeah. So I told y'all a few months back. This was this probably in the first video. But one time the um EBT food stamps, it was down, right? And it had been down like that whole day. And every now and then, like when I first started working there, it was acting up. It haven't acted up in a while though. But um yeah. It was down, and then, like, at the end of the day, it got right back up, but it was slow. So, I was closing, and this man, he tried to pay for his stuff with the food stamps. And it was taking a little minute, but eventually we'd do it. Now, this white lady was behind the man. I'm the only one open. Is it going to be a while? And I said, yeah. Because here's the thing. You can't open here two minutes before close. You... You were scrolling around the store. You ain't getting line for this man. So you need to respect the way he pay for his stuff. I don't care if he had a whole American Express. You're going to wait till that American Express go through. And it did. But yeah. Don't ask no obvious question you know the answer to. You're going to have to wait. That's on you. Don't come in the stores three minutes before close. I don't see how people do that for real. Maybe I'm just a considerate person. Okay, yeah. I was just editing but I thought of something else as I was editing. So, boom. There was this man. And it was like the beginning of crawfish season. Okay. Apparently, crawfish season is like late November, December. Sometimes January, depending on like how the crawfish do. I don't know. Ask the expert. But this is just word of mouth. But as of right now, it's crawfish season. And right now, the crawfish are small, okay? You wait a few months, it's going to be bigger. But they are itty bitty. And people have been feeding for them. And they high, okay? They high right now. You are paying a whole bunch of money for some small crawfish. But whatever. So this man, he gets some crawfish, right? And it ends up being like $25. I don't know what you got, sir. My job is to check you out. He's like, why is it $25? Because it is. Do you want it? You can put it back. Like, what? Well, he was finna pay me, but then he wanted to debate with me. I'm like, sir, it is $25. I don't know why it's $25 because you picked out the crawfish and the weight of the crawfish just happened to be $25. If you don't want to pay the $25, you can put it back. Overall, he... he didn't want to pay for it. So this lady behind him was like, oh, it's just $25. I'll get it. I'm like, you a nice lady, okay? Because if the man refused to pay, that's him refusing to pay. He'll just be crawfishless. But I don't, the overall, what I don't understand, you want it, but you refuse to buy them. That's a you problem. That is a you problem. What you're not going to do is refuse to pay me. Because you ain't walking out the store without paying. But yeah, that's it. But yeah, happy new year. Big goals for the year. Big goals for the month, big goals for the week. Just have goals. Be a goal builder and always do things to better yourself. Because you can be the best you you can be. And yeah, I love y'all. Y'all have a great one. Bye.